Hi there. My name is Sherry and this is uh, a video on placing color art moon rocks on MDF wood. So I have this fantastic little kitten catten that's painted silver, taped on the back, and I am going to be using these Color Art Natural Mica Minerals. They're the Moon Rocks. So I'm going to be using three colors, or three, yeah, three colors. So this one's Potpourri. It is a mix of pinks and purples with a silver underbase. And I will be using a Siren Song. This is um, an aqua blue and almost a purple blue with a silver base on it. And then also Champagne Pearl, which has a little bit of gold in it and, sil and mostly silver. A really, really light, nice silver. So if you've never seen Moon Rocks, they are pretty cool. So they come like in a bag, uh, they come in a bag with these little wafery like, um, flakes and you can use these just as they are or what I like to do is separate them with a little exacto knife here and split them apart so that they're a little bit more um, they're thinner see that and I could even split that one down another one too if I wanted Harder to do when they're thinny, thin like this. Thinny, so kind of like skinny. All right, so there we go. Just be aware that the more you peel them back, the more silver, or like the silvery color shows up. So earlier, before I turned the video camera on, I had some music playing and I separated a bunch of this into piles so that I can do this cat. I'm going to be using uh, Mod Podge gloss to adhere them to the cat and just a paintbrush. I did a smaller version of this cat the other day. And anyways, you get the just of that. Oops. And this is what the little, the other little one looks like. And look at how shiny that is. And this doesn't even have resin on it yet. Once I have this other cat finished, I'll put resin on it. So this one was done with the Champagne Pearl. And the Azure Sea. And Aphrodite. Aphrodite, this one's pink and purple. And the Azure Sea is quite a intense blue aqua color. Okay. So all I do, all I did, this is attempt number two for me, was just put down a little Mod Podge and just painted some of that on there. And if it dries out, just add more. And then Tweezers are handy. I took my flakes. And just put the flake down. Like so. And just alternate back and forth with your colors. 
or make whatever pattern you want. On this one, I didn't worry too much if I had some some blank areas. I kind of like it like that. It looks patchworky to me. You know, along the edge, you're not, I mean, unless you fussy cut it with little scissors, you're not going to get these, you know, natural edged, jagged edge flakes on there perfectly. But I quite like it like that. I left some of the white poking through. I'm going to leave some of the silver poking through on this one. And then I actually have triplets. I have a little black one. <laughs> it was a commission for resin work that didn't go through. So this is working out perfectly, actually, because I get to try out these flakes on these cute little cats. So I'll just go around and... And these flakes, most of them, they're good both sides. So you can make sure that you get your your shape or your edge how you want it and kind of piece them together like that. So I'll fast forward you through all of this because this does take a little while to get done and uh, I'll see you when I'm finished. Okay, so that video went way faster than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> I hope you were able to see um, what I was doing when I was gluing down the um, moon rocks onto this little cat. Uh, so I just kind of alternated the color and tried to make a little patchwork design on him. And um, a couple times I had to go digging in the bag to get just the right piece because I couldn't find what I wanted in the pile that I had already pre, uh, well prepared beforehand. And I think he turned out fantastic. It's getting dark here, so my lighting's not all that great, but you can kind of see how shimmery and shiny he is. Perfect. Love him. And so much fun. This is a relaxing, cathartic process. It's not something that you can do in a rush. So if you're in a hurry to get your art done, uh, you might want to wait until you have a little bit more time. Probably took me about 45 minutes or so to, to do that. But... With the power of time lapse, it took less than a minute. <laughs> All right, so I have that little guy there, and I'll show you again the little version that I did. I think they are absolutely adorable. And I'm not even necessarily a cat person, but these two could convince me. Now, what do you think? Should I do the third one? and make it a trio, you know, the law of thirds when it comes to art. Have the little black guy with the same colors. So I'll have a white one, a silver one, and a black one. I think I'll have to do that. And they won't necessarily be from the same litter, but they're related. So like the same mother, but different father. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you 
uh, enjoyed watching me on that process, even though it was way faster than I thought it was going to be. Sorry about that. I'm kind of techni technically challenged, so I see a few times there that I was also out of frame when I was cutting up those moon rocks, but I hope, hope you got the gist of it anyways. And I'll show you these little guys again when they're resined and all lined up and hopefully looking even better. Take care. Have a good day.